Gym environment was developed by OpenAI. You can install it by simply executing pip install gym. We will use as an example, mountain car environment. Here you have a mountain car in the bell-shaped hole. We want to reach the flag, moving the mountain car to the left and to the right and using inertia of the second side to reach the flag. The gym environment has the following interface. Here you create object of environment and by this parameter you tell which exactly environment you would like to initiate. Then you reset environment. Reset returns the environment to its initial state. Then we render uh, our environment and here we see it. Then we plot observation space. Observation space is current state of features of agent. Here you see one, two, three features. Coordinates, angles, and then speed. Three different actions. So gym interface has three main methods. Reset environment to the initial states and returns first observation of the environment. In the chess game, it will be initial position of figures. Render plots everything, it's not mandatory. Step A, this is the core and central function which commits an action to the environment. Step submits action of an agent to the environment and returns the feedback of the environment. It returns new observation. Think of it as a new state, but represented in terms of features of the new state. So new observation is this, but expressed as a set of features. And you have a reward. Reward is how good this move was. Reward is calculated in a get reward function. Then it returns such parameter as is done. Is done is a Boolean variable. It tells us is the episode is completed. For the car, it will return is it overheated? Because if the car is overheated, then this is the end of episode. And we have to reset the environment and start from the beginning. Il info is auxiliary function some diagnostic information that we may want to store between the steps of an agent for debugging diagnostics whatever originally it's empty dictionary we can run it for an example initially we are here this is our coordinates here are the manually called step. We manually call step and first agent to perform action right, which has index two. And then we printed new observation, a reward we received, and is the game over. We received new observation. As you see, the X and Y coordinates has changed. Height and width now is different. So the car moved. We now know that the game is not over let's give us 250 steps the actions are left stop or right here is the policy uh, we will talk about policy a bit later policy is simply an algorithm of actions if speed is 10 move left if you stop move right if you too high to the right like stop this is the simple policy which you can express as a hard rules. Later, you will see that instead of a policy, we have a very fat neural network here, which knows what to do for the agent best in each state. And for unknown states, it approximates actions based on the previous knowledge. This is the beauty of uh, deep learning ingested into the reinforcement learning. Because for static policies, hard rule, we can only act based on our assumptions and they will be very fragile for new unknown states. So as you see, we were not successful and in 250 iterations, we didn't achieve the flag. So we have to do here something to make the agent reach the flag.